All right, look, y'all, another day, another dollar. You know what I'm saying? Make you want to holler. Look, I'm excited. Today is going to be a great day filled with meetings and conference calls and Zooms and appointments and interviews. My homie Terry's in town with her whole team doing an interview for her podcast. So I'm excited, man. Next level of living. Let's get it. We came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, I could do all things. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to share something with you. So he hit me uh, a few days ago. And he was just like, you know, proud of the work you're doing out here, blah, blah, blah. Yo, bro, we need to, you know, the world needs us. And bro, when he said that, and my first thought was like, yo, folks out here hurting, former Miss America, a few weeks ago committed suicide. Man, it hit my spirit, bro. I said, yo, E, how about me, you, and Inky get together and we do like a virtual conference, a virtual experience that can help people with depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts and just really minister to them. It'd be a free engagement, something online. Let's see if we can bless thousands and thousands of people. So he was like, yo, let's do it. Uh, let's bring in QDZ, you know what I'm saying? To see if he'd be willing to monetate, host it, facilitate it. And so that's where we at, bro. Get with your team, put it on your calendar. And he told me to tell you like, you know, whatever conversation, whatever we got to do, like you just let us know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Hey, but check this out. We about to head across town. We about to get some lunch to y'all. Stay in tune with us. But if you've noticed a goofy smile on my face, it's cause yesterday, man, me and my Tracy, well, my rib, my Tracy, my boo, my queen, my baby mama, 12 year anniversary. Listen to me, check out the bouquet of flowers. I ain't gonna show y'all the gifts I got her because I don't want y'all to think I'm stunting. But hey, and, but here's the thing. I did not buy these. I put this bouquet together. Mm, so do a little side angle real quick. Let me just rotate that boy for you. Stop playing, put it back on me. Hey, look, this is what next level living is all about. I could have easily went and spent a couple hundred dollars on the bouquet like this, but it's different when you pick the flowers yourself. It's different when you find the best vase. It's different when you put that sucker together. And then she come upstairs and see bags and all these other custom things. That's next level living. Stay tuned. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, you caught that moment, bro, because Lisa was like, hey, I trust Jeremy with my message and my story. So for the Atlanta mastermind, let's do Lisa. Let's do Derek. And DeMont's wife. That was a moment. She was just like, he's an amazing speaker, but y'all are helping be a better husband and a better father. And that's priceless. That was a moment. See that blank space? Let's put a quote right here. Some type of quote for me. Something, just something in this space here. A group of kids by, or something. And then make sure that quote is by Jerry. Almost like created by educators for educators. Something along those lines, Ryan. I already know. I'm actually about to head there and do the interview uh, right now. Hey man, this is Jeremy, bro. Oh, man. You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I've, I've been, the challenge and everything was beautiful, man. You're doing marvelous work, bro. I, I talked to your people, man. They was just like, yo, my nephew hungry. Will you jump on the phone with him? You know what I'm saying? So I just want to take a minute, man, and give you some game, okay? You got a powerful story, bro. You got a message. Come on, bro. Shot in your leg, shot in your neck, your arm. Bro, like your face died twice and they brought you back. You have an amazing story. What you got to do now is you got to go on a journey, you know what I'm saying, of sharing your story. You got to go on a journey of really exploring what does that look like for you? You know, like what exactly is your overall message? And so the marketing, the branding, all of that comes later. But right now, man, I'm gonna be praying for you, but you gotta go on the journey now, like a soul searching. And if I made any recommendation, whatever you're doing for a living now, keep doing it and ask God for more ways for you to scale and, and get in better positions to make more revenue because you do need to join a course, a community, whether it's ours or somebody else, you do need um, the financial backing to get logos, to get website, to get branding completed. You know what I'm saying? Like you, that, that part of business is something that you're gonna have to have additional revenue to be able to go in. And let me share one last thing with you, bro. The world needs you to do this, bro. Like God needs you to do this. And so as soon as you can, sign up for the Speakers Academy. Um, that way we can be in contact on a regular basis, bro. And uh, whatever I can do to help you, man, I got your back, fam.
Man, so I'm excited about to hook up with my sis, uh, Terry. Man, listen to me, man. She has the number one um, course on teachable.com. She is Miss Trading Travel. She literally shows people how to travel all over the world while trading stocks, and she's mastered the stock market, man. I'm just humbled and excited to be on her show and her podcast, to be interviewed by her. So we about to pull up at a mansion and spend some time and do this interview, man, and hopefully I can add some value to the people. Let's get it. Pooh, what it do? Hey, look, uh, I'm on the way to the house. I'm gonna have them set my computer and everything up. That way, when I come in, I can jump right into uh, the welcome call with our community. Uh, but it is gonna be tight. We kind of fighting through traffic. The interview took a little longer than expected, uh, but I am en route, so I'll keep you posted. All right, so great day. Um, heading now across town. I got a onboarding call with the members of our next level um, Speakers Academy, and so um, some of the new members that just joined, we kind of onboarded them, but man, the interview with Terry was fire. Um, the mansion that we were in, 15,000 um, square feet of next levelness. I thought my home was something. I thought my career was something. That was something different, uh, but man, just shout out to Terry, man. Just love her, she's so amazing, and just really looking forward to, um, you know, being on her show and um, you know, pouring into more people. This was probably one of the most holistic interviews I've ever done. Sometimes people bring me on and they want to talk about, or they want me to talk about the art of motivational speaking and the, and the business behind it. But this one here, like I was really able to talk about my faith walk with God, you know, how God really helped us in this position, how I bounced back from addiction, how I've been able to love my wife, some different areas in which I've been disciplined. So uh, this one here was a much holistic, a much more holistic approach, but Absolutely great interview, man. Now I'm heading to the house and I'm um, going to be doing some, um, got an onboarding car with our community and go knock out some other things. A day in the life, let's get it. Okay, man, I just got done with the interview, just kind of got across town. So we are going through, they're introducing themselves okay. and where they're from and sharing the field that they want to speak in. So far we have heard from Harry and Anthony. I love it. I love it. I'm excited for you. So welcome. What city are you in? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. BK. All right. I love it. Welcome to the okay. community. Man, what a day. What a day. What a day. Um, just had a great call with the people in our Speakers Academy, the new, the new people that just joined our community. Uh, I'm tired, but I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Just being with Terry and the squad today. Uh, while they were in town filming, just being at that mansion, 15,000 square feet, seven acres, the house was about 10 million. I'm inspired, just seeing, just walking around and just being in that space just really shifted something within me. Now I wake up every single morning focused and locked in on the regular, but I feel something different today. Like, don't get me wrong, like we're blessed, our home that we're in, like we're super blessed to have our our dream home, but that right there, that today was a forever home. The pool, the outdoor pool, the indoor pool, the bowling alley, the movie theater, the indoor basketball court, the pool tables, the ping pong tables, like, it was a lot. And um, I'm inspired. So I already wake up super early, inspired for the day, but I, I can't wait to see what's next. You know what I'm saying? Because here's my, how my brain is wired. Whoever owns that house, a human just like me. That human just like you. The question is how bad do you want it? Let's get it. 